There you go. Today I'm doing some basic training with my hunting dogs, Bob and Boo. And I'll be training them both at the same time. Reason being is, I hunt them together, so they need to learn these commands together. Now teaching your hunting dogs basic uh, training won't increase their prey drive, won't mean that you're going to catch more animals, but what it will do is it'll give you a hell of a lot more control in the field. G'day mate. Now I'm pretty firm with my dogs, and this command today is one they've, they've learnt but not together, it's the first time learning together. Stay. Who come? Boo, sit. Good dogs. Well, this dog. Right, that command was three commands here. It was stay, come and sit. Pretty basic commands, but when we're hunting, we want no noise in the field. Do we, Bob? No noise at all. We want to be completely stealth. So, say for instance there's wild game ahead, and the wind's in our favour, we want to be able to sneak in, and not be heard. So how do we control our dogs? Well, we do it all with hand signals. Well, I do at least anyway. So I need to be able to call my dog with a hand, I need to be able to sit, and say I'm in a scenario where there's a, uh, a ridge and I want to have a sneak over, but I don't want the dogs going and spooking anything first. I'll tell them to sit, to stay. I'll go and have a look. If I see a whole herd of goats down there, then I'll know I don't want my, goat, I don't want my dogs going down and catching goats because they're pig dogs. So I'll go back to the dogs and carry on leaving them. But if I say, for instance, see a couple of pigs down there and I can call them, I can even send them. But if you're sending your dogs, You've got to know exactly what's there, because what if there's some goats down there, or some sheep, or something else? Anyway, this is the very first time that these two guys have had this lesson together. Well, the range is starting to come down now, but I want to show you these commands. I want to show you the hand movements I use with Bob boys on the chain for sit, stay, and come. Now here comes the tractor too. I'll do this quick. Bob, sit. Notice I step forward as I do it. Bob, stay. Bob, come. Good boy. Three basic hand movements. Sit, slightly step forward. Stay, the hand goes like that. And come, is straight up and down. I can do all those things with my dog once I've done my training properly. Make him do those things without making any noise with my mouth. That's the theory anyway. Isn't it, mate? So you can take your collar off. And uh, these guys generally want to kill each other, being brothers. I'm pretty firm on stopping them from overplaying. Don't get too excited. Heal up. Heal up. Good dog. Good dog. Boo. Get in. Bob, come. Probably needs a toilet. Good boy. Bob, come. Bob, get him behind. Boo, get him behind. Heal. I'm going to let them have a wee run first, just to run off any... Uh, sort of energy they've got in them. Now a lot of people talk about training their hunting dogs. You'll find if you've got some basic training, when it comes to things like stock proofing, uh, having your dog not piss you off at home, barking. My dogs are allowed to bark in two situations. Well one time if there's an intruder coming, that's the first time they're allowed to bark, and the only other time they're allowed to bark is they're bailing a pig. Get him behind! I do not use food when I'm teaching dogs. I don't use a clicker. The only thing I use sometimes is an e-collar, but that's a real specialised field. Don't use one unless you really know what you're doing, otherwise you can stuff up a dog. Boo come! Bob come! Boo come! Much harder doing two dogs at once. Boo sit! Bob sit! Bob sit! Stay! Now I'm saying the command and I'm using my hand. Stay! This is the first time they've done it together ever. Be a lot harder to do with two dogs. Boo's attention's gone off me right now. Bob's still looking at me. Boo, stay. Got Boo's attention again. The rain's coming down harder. I'm going to use my hand signal and the verbal for the first time I do this. Come. Good dogs. Good dogs. Come. And they should come straight to you, not run past you. That'll do. That'll do. Right, let's try that again. 
They want to play. Bob, sit. Good boy. Okay, Bob, stay. Boo, stay. Boo, come. Bob, come. Good dog. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Boo, sit. Boo, sit. Good dog. Okay, trying to kill your brother. We'll do it again. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to give it a crack anyway. So I want them to sit, stay, and come with just commands. No verbals at all. a dog barking to make it even harder. That's impressive. Wow, wow. Look and say, good boy. Good dog. Who come? There's a dog barking at the same time, which had his attention. We're going to finish on a good note. That's awesome. Get him behind. I'm happy. <laughs> That'll do, boo. Good luck with your training. Remember, these are only my methods that work for me. Come on, Bob. Good boy. Bob, come. <laughs>